October 2015 has been and gone, but it has yielded some fantastic mobile games. And that's why GameRanks is so excited to talk to you today about the 10 best new iOS and Android games of October 2015. Now bear in mind, this list contains games you're going to have to pay for, but I'm going to tell you this was probably one of the best months for mobile gaming yet this year. So trust me, it's worth it. Number 10. Goosebumps Night of Scares is a nostalgic adventure game that is legitimately fun for all ages. It's a 3D game, I'm not gonna say it's the best looking game I've ever seen in my life, but the graphics are certainly good enough to be enjoyable. It's essentially a first person point and click, except for now you don't point and click, you tap in these types of games, and is narrated by Jack Black as R.L. Stein. The game is funny and enjoyable, and if you remember Goosebumps or just have a child who wants to play with your tablet, or if you just plain are a child. This would be great, and a great companion for the movie. Number 9. Prune is an incredibly unique game. If you can imagine a slow-paced fruit ninja that almost qualifies as a religious experience, that's Prune. It is absolutely a gorgeous game with an incredibly unique art style. The idea is actually explained in the title, which is pretty cool. Essentially, you are in charge of pruning a tree so it can grow to reach its full potential. The trees need to make it into the light where they can flourish and blossom. In truth, that's the entirety of the concept of the game. Now that does not mean that it is easy, nor does it mean that you'll be done with it quickly. In truth, this is probably one of the puzzle game masterpieces of our time. I can't tell you enough good about this game. It is worth your time as much as anything else on this list is worth your time. Even if it doesn't seem like it's up your alley, give it a shot. Number eight, Brother a Tale of Two Sons is one of those rare games that just kind of is everything. And at the same time, it gives it to you at a pace that is intentionally deliberate. It doesn't cater to your attention span. It asks something of you. It's a puzzle game. It's an adventure game. It's a platformer. It's beautiful in more ways than one, emotionally and graphically speaking. I know you've heard of this game already, if you pay even any attention to gaming at all. And the fact that it's out on mobile, giving you the opportunity to play it anywhere means you should take the opportunity and play it. Number 7. Dust, an Elysian Tale is a game where you follow the titular character named Dust through a surprisingly serious platformer starring anthropomorphic animals. A truly massively scaled RPG platform action adventure game that simultaneously feels simple and enjoyable as well as beautiful and with a lot of depth. It's different and it's fresh and contains a lot of really cool voice acting, believe it or not. It's universally well-reviewed. It's out on basically every other platform. If you haven't played it, this is the perfect excuse to. Not that you need an excuse. Number six, Minecraft Story Mode is a Telltale Games story that takes you through the world of Minecraft, which is very interesting if you think about it. Minecraft, generally a creative game that has been likened to digital Legos for this generation. Creating a story out of a thing that really doesn't have a story is a really big task, and so far what Telltale Games has come up with is very interesting and enjoyable. Also a big bonus if you're a fan of Patton Oswalt, he voices the main character. Number five, Downwell is one cool frickin' game. Devolver Digital came up with something that is is quite frankly very unique. To combine elements of Metroid, a bullet hell shooter, platforming, and a legitimate arcade feel, all into one cohesive, really fun, fast-paced, enjoyable game. It has to be played to be believed. Now from the music, to the effects, to the silky smooth animation, this game is chaotic and it will glue you to your screen. The red, black, white color palette might seem extremely limiting, but frankly it doesn't even take getting used to. Downwell is fantastic, play it, period. Number 4. Heroes Reborn Enigma is an interesting game. It's sort of puzzle oriented, but it's not just a puzzle game. For whatever reason, kind of reminds me of Portal, despite not having a portal mechanic or anything like that. You end up actually bending time as opposed to space, and it's gorgeous. It's an absolutely fantastic looking game, and it plays just as good as it looks. You owe it to yourself to give this one a try. Number three, Sanitarium. Originally released in 1998, Sanitarium is perhaps one of the most revered point and click adventure games out there. After a car accident, you wake up in an insane asylum instead of a hospital like one might expect and things go downhill from there. Needless to say, stuff gets extremely messed up. You're left questioning whether or not it is actually even happening. 
As far as PC is concerned, it's one of the classic games, and having that with you at all times, I would say is a definite must. Number 2, Octodad, Dadliest Catch. Now Octodad is utterly ridiculous, period. It's essentially you playing as an octopus in human clothing, attempting to do human things, and not be noticed that it is an octopus in human clothing. It's a weird game. It's not really the goal to actually pass as a human being, because that's not possible. The goal instead is to just get through the puzzles. Maybe. I don't know. Honestly, you can really not even beat the game at all and enjoy it. It's ridiculous. And number one, Lumino City, which is a play on luminosity, obviously. Other than your character, it is all footage and photos of papercraft, and it is beautiful. Really compared to doing this kind of game with polygons that have paper textures on them, this was definitely the way to go. It looks better than a pre-rendered game. And I could go on and on and on about how awesome it is, but really, the only thing I can truly recommend is just playing it. It's worth it. Go in blind, enjoy it. And a few bonus games that I think you will enjoy, starting with Ghost of Memories, which will remind you visually of Monument Valley. You'll find it to be a little bit more challenging, however. Darius vs. SP, which is a kick-ass bullet hell shooter, and then Zombie Match Defense, which is a very unique puzzle game where you match different items in order to kill zombies before they reach your fortress. All of which tons of fun. Try them. Whether you've played any of these games or not, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section, which is is your favorite. Also, don't forget to click the like button because, well, it really helps us and we want to continue making tons of these videos for you. Speaking of which, if you're not already, you may want to subscribe on account. We make tons of these videos and upload them every single day. The best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, we thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time here on Game Ranks.